The Saxon army, or what remains of it, has abandoned their camp and left. Are they trying to do the same thing? <laughs> I don't think that you got sewer and no. uh, grass no. field. If you want to, we can pursue them and destroy them. I think we have more important things to do. What if Uber kills Lekatha and persuades her to crown him king? The loss of our home base would be a devastating blow. We must kill Uber and Lekatha. Whoa! You must be crowned king of Kattegat before Pyrrhon returns. You'd be willing to kill Uber? You're making more and more sense, my brother. And he likes that. I don't want you to Good kill your life. brother. I remember also that King Harald has an ambition of invading Kattegat. In the short term, we should make an alliance and work with him. I told you so! This time we will... But what of our prisoner, this bishop? Well, what do you propose? He seems like an important man. We could offer him back to the Saxons for a great prince. We could crucify him. That would be fun. <laughs> Not yet, please. The character is Blessed interesting. Is walk it not in the council oh, of my God. oh man. Nor standeth in the way of the sinner. He just likes it. Nor he's sit in he's the fascinated. The he can't sit in this position. You call me a heathen. But to me I am godly. I live by the gods. There is only one God. But I have seen no other gods. They are the devil's work. <laughs> he conjures up demons and fallen angels to beguile us. And lead us into evil. What is evil? Hmm? Slaughter of the innocent. <laughs> you slaughter when it suits you. He who chooses to be heathen is not innocent. But I could show you the ways of God. Oh God. I could bring you to salvation. They're so cool together. <laughs> Do you know who I am? Of course. You are by far. And many there are who fear you. But not you. No. I fear no man. No matter how wicked. People tell stories about other people, people they don't know. And yet they still curse them and tell lies about them. People tell lies about our savior. Well, perhaps they tell lies about me as well. It's got a point. How would I know? I will give you the chance to find out. He's gonna keep him. You are coming on his journey with us. Oh my god! Huh? I like this! I love this! <laughs> Uh, that's his way of I'm already on a journey. Aren't we all? I love this, okay? I. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that is on a way of having his own Atelstan. That's okay. cute. What does happen? From what I can gather, Commander Euphemius was placed under arrest last night. But somehow managed to escape. And it was their fault. Yes. Admit come to the Who plays for mistakes? What are you, Femius? We haven't exactly been the best bodyguards, have we? <laughs> Not. Oh, it's true, they were supposed to be his bodyguards. <laughs> oh my god. I forgot about that. <laughs> what do you want to bear? I'm just curious. Like my father, I suppose he was curious, no? I know. Tell me the truth. Do you really believe you have found the land of the gods? You could go. Mm, that'd be nice. Why would I lie to you, Ube? Because you're insane. <laughs> <laughs> Am I? 
you could totally go I mean, make make your journey make your 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 way into this new place and forget about everything else <laughs> This feast is to celebrate our trade agreement and our continuing cooperation. Don't tell them what it is. Eat the fruits. Eat the fruits. <laughs> Please. And only the fruits. What is this? Is there more to this? <laughs> he understood pretty well what he just said. What is this? He's saying that we've all just eaten Commander Euphemius. <laughs> He's See, finding it funny. I discovered yeah. that Euphemius was trying to double cross me and return to the Emperor's favor. Oh. Now that Maybe. was unacceptable. And in any case, I no longer need a puppet ruler since I intend to capture Sicily myself. Mm. Team up! Alliances! I think we should return to the boats. We are in the greatest danger. Is it Adela? No. Cassia. Didn't you realize? She's planning something. She's about to that kill them all? woman is wicked. forbid you to do, to do that so I'm afraid of what she's yeah. gonna do Or is it a part of it? Mm. What do you think, Bishop Eichmund? You got a point. It's so much like Athelstan. <laughs> <laughs> but with Ragnar and Athelstan being both extras. Oh my god. The timing? <laughs> god, this is 
storm coming. If we can stay alive a few moments longer, maybe. Can we do it? I don't know what's going on with with all these these people like the guy in charge I like the character but I mean I like Egbert too and he was always doing stuff against Ragnar <laughs> so it's not about if, if he's a good guy or a bad guy he's I interesting just, he's as really interesting that's why. her she's full of mystery she, she's got a lot that she's not saying and there's a lot we don't understand still like I was expecting like when they were saying like we should go don't you see like it, we have to fear her because I think she's the one in charge basically she's the one uh, that's manipulating the guy that he is in charge I don't know his name what's his name I don't remember don't bother with it. <laughs> but I was expecting her maybe to manipulate him and turn on him but no apparently she's using him to to kill them but I don't understand what they did that deserves that so no threat to her I guess are they or is it because they, they knew that uh, since she was there before and she saw like the meeting with the first guy that, that got eaten and she knows that they want more than what they're saying and he wants to attack Cecil mm -hmm. and they also want to attack Cecil so they're like, um, no, we, we won't have you be our enemy. Let's kill you now and get rid of you right away. Yeah. Uh, that's, that's all I can take from this scene, but she's a mystery to me. Like, I don't know where she comes from, why she's doing the stuff she's doing. I'm really I'm really happy we got to see this place, though. I'm really happy we got to travel and, and see this. And yeah. I love meeting new cultures and meeting new people. Like, I was excited when we saw uh, England. I was excited when we saw Paris uh, and, and France in, in general. I'm excited we're seeing this now. I'm glad that there's always a character in this show that wants to travel and discover places. Like... Bjorn really has this side of Ragnar that, you know, he wants, of course, like, he's a Viking, and his culture is telling him that he wants to make a name for himself, that's, that's for sure, but there's a side of him that is interested in the land, in the cultures, he wants to be just as, as huge as his dad used to be, like, he wants to make the legend yeah. his own, and he wants to travel places that Ragnar never even dreamt of, he wants to to meet new people, he wants to see powerful rulers, compare himself to them, I think. He wants to challenge these places, he, he wants to make a name, not stay and, and farm, not stay in these new places and conquer them. Like when they went, they went to Paris, they didn't stay in Paris, that's not, the, that's not the goal. Ragnar wanted to see these places for himself and have, have the experience, and I feel like Bjorn wants both the the recognition and the experience. He doesn't want to conquer these places for the sake of conquering them. He wants to see them. He wants to yeah. make a name. It's like, like take Ivar for for example. Ivar is similar in this way. Like he doesn't want to conquer for the sake of conquer. He wants he wants the fame. He wants to be feared. He wants his name to be known. He wants people to look up to him instead of down. Uba is the one that is different when it comes to Ragnar's sons. Like, he wants to farm, he wants to settle. He wants a simple life. Which is why I'm like, he should totally go with Floki. I, I mean, that would save him from fighting his brothers. Vincent came out of nowhere with the let's kill Uba. Like, I, I did not expect that from him. I expected it from Ivar, maybe, because, I mean, the, the possibility that he would fight them when they come back was real. But... From for Vince like to totally switch sides, like it's one thing to follow Ivar and be like, I want to fight, I don't want to farm. It's another thing to say, let's kill my brother. <laughs> totally. oh. Please go with Floki, man. Go, go with Floki. I would love to see you, you go. You know what I'm fearing right now mm -hmm. is like maybe uh, he is gonna chose to go with Floki. But maybe Magar is gonna tell him, oh no, you need to be ruler of Karika, just stay, Lakata is uh, weak. 
Maybe maybe that's what's gonna happen. Because she seems to be thrilled by the power or the idea of it. The protection that it would yeah. give her. Yeah. This whole Floki situation is opening a lot of doors for a lot of people. Like and it's gonna change a lot of things if it comes to be like uh Torvi is gonna lose a son if he manages to leave. And, and even, everybody is leaving her. Seriously. I know. And she stays behind and expects Bjorn to come back. And all he does is is not even... He doesn't even think about her. He doesn't like to settle with... He wants to move on. He wants more women. He wants more fame. He wants more places. He always wants more. Yeah. And I don't I, I don't appreciate this side of his personality. I like Bjorn. I don't like this side of, of his personality. Yeah. Especially since, like... If Thorvi moved on, if she was aware of what was going on and she decided to move on and they just like this, when he comes back, they agree to be like friends and, and settle for the sake of the kids. That's one thing, but she doesn't move on. She waits for him. That's what I hate the most. Anyway. True. Uh, I'm pretty excited to see what's the next point for Edmund and oh, his yes. journey this is the, the Viking. This is the true thing in the episode. Like, first of all, the, the entire thing of making him a prisoner is great. I agree with it. I love it. Oh my goodness. I, you know, <laughs> these two guys are so similar yet so different. They are two, they are so intense, both of them. They are true believers in their religion. They are, they have so much faith Ivar, you know, feels like he's been chosen by the gods, What, which that's what gave him the power to stand there. Well, not stand, but he was sitting down, but that, that's what gave him the power of to, to, to be there and face death and laugh in its face and just be like, ha, you can't kill me, because he was chosen. Like, in his mind, he's been chosen by the gods, and he is special, and he's yeah. not going to die like that. And Hegman is the same in his own right. He feels like he is carrying the, the word of God. He feels like he is the messenger. And that because of that, because of his faith, he feel he fears no no man because no one is gonna no one is gonna be like the one to do him in because he's got God on his side. So they are both true believers of their faith. They are both incredible warriors. They are both really intense. <laughs> <laughs> I love that they got to meet. I love that Ivar kept him as a prisoner. I love that he's taking him on the journey. It's interesting too because I feel like for Ivar, first of all, he's doing the same thing his dad did. For different reasons. Different reason in a different way too. <laughs> no, but taking a man of God as a prisoner and keeping him, you know, bringing him with uh, with him. I, uh, Ragnar was doing it because he wanted to learn more. Ivar is doing it, I feel like, because this is the true victory. This guy is such a believer. He is, like, the perfect Christian, I mean, in, in Ivar's eyes, because we both know that he tends to uh, sidestep sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> he punishes himself for it, but... He, he, anyway, he is a representation of the, the perfect Christian for Ivar. I feel like if he manages to change his mind if he manages to twist him, it's going to be the best victory he can ever have against Christianity in and of itself. You take their bishop and you, you twist him, you make him doubt his God, you make him, you make him doubt his uh, religion. Holy shit, that's going to be like, But the wow. thing is, like you said, Edmund and Ivor are so similar and they're so intense in their beliefs. Like I, yeah. What is to say that Edmund would do the same with Ivor? This is why I'm so excited huh? for this storyline. This is why I love that he's keeping him because these two together are going to have amazing conversations. It's going to create amazing situations. I can't wait to see, like, is is there, is, are they going to stay strong? I'm pretty sure Ivar is going to stay strong because he's surrounded by his people. But uh, the other guy, Eggman, he's, um, he's a mystery. And if he bends eventually, if he starts doubting, it's gonna be crazy character development. It's gonna be crazy. It's like Athelstan 2.0, but even more intense because Ivar is not close to be to being as nice as Ragnar used to be, you know. So it's gonna be crazy. I love it. I love it. Woohoo! <laughs> I, th I think I think I saw somewhere in the comments that one of you guys were saying that the episode five was great. It was. It was amazing. The entire thing was amazing. I feel so bad for Ethelwolf also. I feel bad for. Uh... A feminist also. 
Emir FMUS, the one that the A at the end of the episode. Oh, yeah, yeah, sorry, I forgot about his name. Yeah. Um, I love the reactions. There was a bit of comedy here with uh, with them, and it was it was disgusting, but it was cool to see them just yeah. be like, eh, you're just like, well, fuck. The other one is laughing. He was like, eh, it was good, I don't care. <laughs> wow. I don't know much about uh, culture who ate human flesh. Uh, I know that, I, I don't know if that's true, but uh, did you remember the book uh, that from uh, Anne Rice, and uh, Through the Vampire? Yeah, well, yeah, I know about yeah, it. But, yeah. And one of her books, she refers to, uh, and back then, I don't know if it's, she was inspired by true uh, cultures, but the, some culture uh, tended to eat flesh for funeral cer ceremonial. Mm -hmm. So, I don't know really who's doing what or for what purpose if the vikings ever did that i don't think that they ever did that i think it's uh for them it like they are extreme in the way that if they want to survive if they were starving somewhere they would totally do it but and they're not about to be like spit on someone else's culture and, and traditions when they get spit on all the time for their own pagan ways so I don't know, they were pretty open with it, maybe disgusted, but they still like didn't rebel or anything, so I thought it was funny. <laughs> they are they are open minded. I would have still liked to be told like if I was them, I would have loved to be told that this was human flesh before I ate it. Like I hate I hate fish and my parents my parents used to hide fish uh bits in my food so I would eat it without knowing and then after I ate the whole thing they would be like did you like it? Like was it uh my dad's um uh, girlfriend who did that one time, I hated it. She was like, uh, did you like the food? Like, she was so uh, condescending with it. Like, did you like it? Was it good? I was like, well, there was fish in it. And I was like, I knew there was fish in it. What do you want me to do? Starve and don't eat? But I hate it when they, they would do that. Like, tell me, I don't like fish. I don't want to eat it. So if you put it in my food, tell me and don't play tricks on me like that. Yeah. This is more intense. It's human flesh. <laughs> did you like <laughs> it? That was human flesh. Well, they did like it. They did like it. They were like, mm. <laughs> ooh. Oh. But this is going places I really <laughs> love. This is going to lead to a lot of fights, a lot of interesting conversations. I don't know where, what Uba is going to do, but I fear that Lagertha is going to figure out that Loki is leaving with people, and I don't know, is she going to attack? Is she going to try to kill him? Is she just going to be betrayed once again and feel bad for herself? If I don't know. If they do leave to Flucky's new land. Mm -hmm. It's like she's um, losing power. She well, won't like it, so she's gonna do something about it. It, it. Will she be able to do something about it? Because if they manage to leave in secret, she won't. She can follow them. She doesn't know where I'm the island is. I'm pretty sure that I saw someone behind Flucky when he was walking at night. So maybe that she already knows what's going on. Uh, she probably expects it. She knows what Floki is like, and she knows that he believes in his gut so much that if he was given the task to bring people, you know, in, in the land of gods, he will do it. Like, there's nothing she can say that will change his mind. But I'm excited for that. I'm excited for Eggman and, and Ivar together. I'm surprised about Fitzerk, but what he's going to do next, he's going to go through with it. We'll see. Uh, what's going on with, with Bjorn? I want to see that too, so let's move on. Yeah, let's move on, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching this episode with us. If you want to see the next one right away, it's already on Patreon, or it will be very soon. Check it out. The link is in the description. So don't forget to subscribe if you want to watch it now, guys. And if not, wait for the next one to be out on YouTube, which yes. will be soon. soon. So see you then. Bye.